Components are the other type of contextual modeling structure. And creating one is very much like creating a group. Basically, you're putting your faces and edges into a container. The difference with components is that components have to have a name. And there are some additional options which we'll get to in another video. Right now we have two separate objects, but they're really collections of edges and faces right now. As you can see as I'm selecting various items. I'm going to select this collection and make it a group by pressing Command G. Then I'll select this collection by triple clicking, and then I'll just press G to create a component. We have to give the component a name, and SketchUp is suggesting that we just call it component number one, and that sounds fine for this simple demonstration, but in a real project you should use a meaningful name. The description field is optional, and these items here I'll talk about later. Make sure this is checked so that the selection will be replaced with the new component. Click Create and you have a component. It looks the same. But the behavior is different than a group. To see this, it's necessary to make copies. Select the group and the component and make a couple of copies. I'll type in 2x. These circles are groups and the boxes are components. I'll double click on this group to open it for editing, and I'll make some type of modeling change. Each group is unique. I'll close it and alter another group. This time I'll move the quadrant point in to make a cone. So the changes I make to one group have no relationship to the changes that I make to another one. Not so with components. Components are all connected. These components are actually representations of the same object. I'll open this component for editing by double clicking on it, and then I'll make some type of modeling change. The change appears on all instances. This works just like blocks do in AutoCAD and instances do in 3ds Max. It's a common need that we have in 3D applications to have this differentiation between unique objects and objects that share the same geometry. Components are very efficient because SketchUp only has to remember the representation of what's inside the container one time, and then it merely needs to position these instances in different places in space multiple times. So it's essential that when you're creating many duplicates of an object, that you think ahead and create that as a component, and then the file size will be smaller, and you'll have more editing power over the myriad copies. It is also possible to make a component unique. For that one-off situation where you have a number of components, but you want one of them to be different. Here I'll select this component, right-click, and choose Make Unique. What that does is it creates it as a new component with a unique name. And we can see that in the outliner. We have two component number ones and one component number two, because this one is unique. All of the instances of a component share the same name. So I can double click here to go into this component, make a modeling change, and it bears no relationship to the geometry in these other containers. So components that have the same name in the outliner are instances of each other. I'll open up this component for editing and make a modeling change to it. And you'll see that this one also changes in the same way. By the way, materials have a complex relationship with instances. Let's take a look at it. Press B to activate the paint bucket. The colors palette immediately appears. I'll choose red as the active color. Right now, all of my contextual structures are closed. I'll click on this component to color the instance itself. Everything inside the container turned red, but it didn't affect this other instance. I'll press the space bar to activate the select tool. Double click on the instance to open it for editing. I'll choose a different color and color this top face. Notice that this instance turned green here. So the behavior is different depending on whether you're painting the instance itself or what's contained inside the component. 